for all of you in the media, you don't have to look at any of this as the opinions of Brian Mast or Chairman McCall or Daryl Issa or Michael Waltz or any other member of this. It's not our opinions. Every bit of this is founded within the transcribed interviews within the interviews of individuals and hearings, the first person perspectives of those that were on the ground or in the Pentagon or in Foggy Bottom or somewhere else in the Middle East, in the State Department somewhere, offering what they saw, what they witnessed, what they said and what was ignored. And every single time that I was a part of a transcribed interview or a part of doing a hearing somewhere, the same two things constantly came to mind for me as this was going on. The politics were paramount above everything else. The, the date for withdrawal, September 11, that was paramount over everything in the very beginning. That was politics over national security objectives. The politics were paramount. Everything that, that was coming out of the White House during the time to spin what was actually happening, it was making the politics paramount, not the reality on the ground. What was coming out of there never actually reflected the reality on the ground as you look at timeline after timeline. And beyond the politics being paramount, you can look at it and you could say everybody and everything else that was contrary to the politics were to be considered disposable. What any NATO ally had to say or ISAF partner had to say, that was disposable information. What came across in a dissent cable from members of the State Department that every effort was made to withhold that from us that was meant to be disposable information. What came through from anybody in the Pentagon? Disposable information. Analysis to use a different time, a different season, when fighting was not so prevalent in Afghanistan? Disposable information. Whether to use a different air base, a different location, a place more suited to the, the tactics of that kind of withdrawal? Disposable information. And making all of that disposable information made the lives of our service members disposable. That's how they were treated. They literally cost the lives of 13 Americans, many more Afghanis, countless more that we don't know about because they were left behind, because the politics were paramount in all of this. That's my opinion on what I came away with after sitting through those interviews, hearing the people speak that were called by both Republicans and Democrats alike. That it was all about the politics and everything else be damned. And that meant that the only, the only ones that paid any price for all of the mistakes that were made we're the children of those that are with us today. Those are the only ones that paid any kind of price. And there's only two people that can change that. And that's Joe Biden and the person that he said was the last person in the room, Kamala Harris. It's up to you to make sure that more are held accountable. Get the message out, read the report, read the first person accounts, of what took place, what was said, what was ignored, and what was disposed of, and help get the truth out there, because that's what this report is. It's a report of the truth. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.